Virgo, this is Leonard with Lingonberry Key Tarot, and I'm doing your tarot reading for the month of November. So, I'm using the Aboriginal Dreaming, the Mystical Making Magic, <laughs> uh, Fortune Cookies, Starseed, uh, the Divine Tarot, the Uncommon Tarot, and the White Sage Tarot. If at any point in the video um, it resonates with you or you just like the reading, then please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments down below what drew you to the reading. I'd like to know. And with that, let's go ahead and get into it. So, Virgo for the month of November. Oh, wow. What is going on in your life, Virgo? You have a lot of cards, Virgo. Creativity, indifference, frustration. Daring, richness, worthwhile, power symbol, achievement, ascension, reflection, release, advancement, patience, signs, dreams, and vibration. I want to say spend time with family. Because whatever is going on, your mm, you're needing to recharge. Because once you connect back with your family, it helps to it helps ground you and get over this indifference and frustration and weariness that you have. Um, and if you're going into the holiday season, uh, you're just feeling this, just know that it's going to be worthwhile. And be creative in whatever you're doing. Be a little daring in your gifts, I guess. And, It will have richness and create a smile for some. And the power symbol is telling you to cleanse and purify and protect the physical body. So don't overindulge. Try to do things in moderation. In 
and like exercise a little bit more. I mean, we could all use it, um, but don't overdo it above your ability to. And it's kind of like you're going through a hermit mode in order to ascend to the next level and raising the vibrations. Um, just pay attention to um, signs and have patience as these things can take a while to come in. So whatever you're trying to raise your vibration for or manifest into your life, it's going to take a while. Nothing happens overnight. And pay attention to your dreams. Um, they may be a little bit more prophetic to you. So write things down in a dream journal. and Or if you keep a journal, then just write down um, what you had and had dreamt about. And it may have some sort of significance for you. But that is your oracle cards now, let me put these away and then we will get into the tarot that was a lot of cards that just flipped over as I was grabbing them Virgo for the month of November. Let's see what pulls out. A lot of intuition and a lot of dreams are going to be coming to you, Virgo. You need to pay attention to them because your intuition is going to tell you a lot. Especially if you're dealing with a broken heart over something. But something new is definitely coming in. And it will bring you back into your power as the Queen of Coins. And connecting with the higher power is going to help you with the Four of Wands. It'll help you get out of this Eight of Swords. Because right now you're kind of all in your head and deceiving yourself a little bit. But once you get over it, you will enter into this place of calm, place of mm, inner reality in which you're realizing what truly benefits you in life and causes happiness, bringing you out of this Five of Swords moment. You'll find your soul family Finding your truth, knowing your options, are coming in and connecting with the higher level of power because a soulmate is coming in to greet you. It's going to take a while, but it is somebody that the universe is sending to you. Let's go ahead and clarify these for Virgo for the month of November. So why is the Three of Swords here? Okay. 
because the moon is going to reveal things to you on why somebody left you out in the cold. And it's somebody who you thought was your soulmate. But as you get over this and start making your choices, you will find your happiness again. So why is the Ace of Cups here? Because karma is equaling things out for you. Bringing you into this sense of peace. Knowing that the universe is sending you somebody in order to connect with. It may not happen this month. It may happen down the road. Um, but they are coming in. So why is the Queen of Coins here? Because you are the Queen of Coins. And it's something that you tried to achieve before and now it is happening. Because you've been very patient on whatever you were waiting on to come in. So why is the Four of Wands here? Things are equaling out in your life. There's going to be a lot of communication. A lot of communication through dreams, through um, messages, possibly through the internet. And, or just messages in general from somebody. And you're contemplating on those. Like, is this what you really want? Is it what do you really need right now? But you're just contemplating it. So why is the Eight of Swords here? You're deceiving yourself. You're deceiving yourself that you don't have true happiness in your life. But there is somebody coming in, possibly a king of wands, who will celebrate with you with the six of wands as they come in. So this could be um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you may be connecting with, or any other sign who just has um, prominent placement of fire in their chart. So why is the Seven of Swords here?
So you could be connecting with the King of Swords, King of Coins. I don't know why I wanted to say King of Swords, but the King of Coins may be mm, pulling your strings a little here, causing you extra burdens, which you have the strength to go through, but also um, once you get over those burdens and have the strength to continue on, it will end this Ten of Swords moment with this individual. So why is the Empress here? Because an emperor has their eye on their empress and is going to come in and tell the truth eventually. They've been watching you, they've been seeing you from afar, and they want to bring you into happiness. So why is the sun here? They will be telling you the truth, telling you their heart, giving you this Ace of Cups, because the world is granting you your heart, your wish, in order to get out of the cold. So where's the Five of Coins here? You're coming out of the cold in order to get to your Ten of Coins. And your Knight of Cups will be making an offer to a Queen of Swords. So you have your boundaries. You know your limitations. You know what you're willing to and not willing to accept. But regardless of that, this emperor is coming in very quickly towards their Virgo. So any other advice for Virgo for the month of November? This person makes you weak at the knees. Like, they don't want you to fight anymore. They don't want to be a burden. They confuse their Queen of Cups. To not have the strength in order to resist them. 
as they are coming in as a king of cups. So this person is your match. <laughs> but that is your reading, Virgo, and I hope you liked it. And if you do, like, comment, share, and subscribe down below. And also leave a comment down below if any of this resonated for you or not. And I will see you again next time. Laters.